This is a battle in the Use It and Lose It tournament. Sparta versus Syracuse, an interesting matchup to say the least. For Sparta, we have uh, four Gorgo Skirmishers and their ability actually works now. They have uh, quick, quick Reload, which increases their rate of fire. Their previous ability didn't do shit. Now they have uh, also Heroes of Sparta, Spartan Hoplites, Royals, Royals, Spartan Hoplites, Heroes of Sparta, and Spartan Hoplites. On the flanks, Anti-Cavalry, Periki Hoplites, Periki Spears, and then we have two Skirmish Cav. It makes sense just going super light on the Cav when, whenever you're Sparta. Use the Spears instead. Then we have for Syracuse, we have uh, two Mercenary Samnites, two Pike Center, two Light Peltasts. Up front we have three Mercenary Balerics. On the flanks we have two Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, Thoreos Hoplites, Mercenary Samnites, Mercenary Samnites, Thoreos Hoplites, two Skirmish Cav, and a total of four Citizen Cavalry, one Thorax Hoplite General. Now, I kind of question bringing Citizen Cavalry against Sparta, because they are medium. They're not going to do much against the very heavy and super heavy infantry of Sparta. They can get into the Skirmishers and um, deal with them, but against Sparta in particular, you're going to have to kill a lot of infantry, and you're not going to be able to do that with Citizens. You're not going to be able to route the Spartan units easily, especially the Spartan Hoplites, the heroes and the royals. They just don't care much about being rear-charged. The Spartan Hoplites, Royal Spartans, 75 morale. The uh, the Spartan Hoplites, 65 morale. Very, very high morale on these units. So you basically need to kill them. To kill them. That's the, that's the bottom line. Skirmish Cav against Skirmish Cav here. Sparta has the skirmish in this, like the Gorgos are going to lose against three mercenary Balerics, especially if the mercenary Balerics stand in the forest here. But the mercenary Balerics are going to take significant casualties and, uh, and the Syracuse needs all the ammunition it can muster to kill, the, to kill the Spartans. They have high armor, great missile block, great health overall. So I don't see the infantry of Syracuse being able to destroy Sparta in a head-on engagement here. And that leaves it up to these skirmishers to do as much damage as they can do. Ideally, getting light peltasts to fire into the backs of engaged units. Firing into the front of, uh, of Hoplites is not going to be that effective. So here we have the mercenary Balerics. Two of these Gorgos are focusing fire on one Balearic. It's sort of in the forest. And the Spartan youths being used to push up. Shits and cavalry doing something well for once. Getting into skirmish cavalry and destroying it. The Spartan youths take fire here. Gorgos are focusing on Balerics. And the Balerics are actually losing men. The Gorgos are losing women. But Sparta, realizing it has the infantry advantage, is going to push. Now, this is bad. Anytime your skirmish line has to move backwards, they're going to take shots in the rear and they're going to die a lot quicker because they don't get their missile block chance. So, Shits and Cavalry trying to get into some uh, Periki Spears and Periki Spears, but they decide, nope, let's not die just yet. Spartan youths are sort of running into pikes. Over here as well, running into pikes, uh, getting charged down the line and when the pikes go down the Spartan youths should be off the field flanking charge by uh, Shits and Cavalry into Heroes of Sparta shouldn't do much damage the Spartan Hoplites cheeky move around the flanks of the pikes here and into the Citizen Cavalry Citizen Cavalry not going to be able to do much against these guys Thoreos Hoplites rushing in uh, they are inferior to the Spartan Hoplites but they did get the charge now this is what uh, this is what Syracuse needs to do the mercenary Samnites getting into the Heroes of Sparta. Mercenary Samnites against Spartan Hoplites should be able to win that engagement uh, in the end. Now there's a lot of stuff happening here. The Royal Spartans pushing away the entire center of Epirus, denying the skirmishers the time they need to fire. Citizen Cavalry should drop really quickly to these units. Spartan Hoplites getting caught here on a mercenary Samnite. 
The Sitsin Cavalry died to Perigee Spears, unfortunate for them. Spartan Hopetes going into Phalanx against the Mercenary Veteran Hopetes. In Phalanx they are better, outside of Phalanx the Mercenary Hopetes are better. The Pikes are doing the weirdest of stuff, like this is this is how Pikes work in Rome too. Now they're getting attacked by Gorgo Skirmishers, flanked by Heroes of Sparta. Skirmisher Cavalry got caught somehow by Periki Hoplites, so they are going to be dying very soon. A Citizen Cavalry comes in to save them, but uh, against very heavy spears, Citizen Cavalry can't really do much. The Mercenary Samnites surrounded by Periki Spears and Heroes of Sparta, but this is why I don't like Heroes of Sparta. They are losing decisively now against Mercenary Samnites. Uh, they're just not a good unit. Small unit size means they get enveloped very easily and um, they don't have the elite spear, which is something I go on about quite a bit, but it's very important that uh, if they have the elite spear, maybe, but they don't, so they are a no-go unit in my book. Royal Spartans losing decisively to Citizen Cavalry, but now the Citizen Cavalry is dying. Um, the Citizen Cavalry really hasn't made much of an impression on this battle, which is to be expected against Sparta. Royal Spartans winning against Thorax Hoplites, of course they are. No Phalanx used on either side, the Royal Spartans have the Elite Spear, which helps them a lot against heavily armored troops. Mercenary Samnites losing here. Mercenary Samnites losing now that they're attacked in the back by Periki Spears. The Mercenary Balearics, they've gotten some kills, but there's no way that they they are enough to kill what's left uh, from Sparta here. The Sitsin Cavalry gets into the Gorgos, but the Sitsin Cavalry is very, very depleted. Could route the Gorgos though. Nice little Hoplite sandwich here, the Pikes are rushing in. And 80 kills on Pikes, mostly from Spartan youths running straight into the Pikes. The Pikes go down, could get some kills now, but since they're not really able to engage effectively and envelop these units, the kills on the Pikes are going to be very, very limited. The Spartan General is in a bit of trouble though, because he's gotten himself surrounded by skirmishers, he got a bit overconfident. He wanted to fight in the shade, and now he's routing. Now, I don't think he's dead just yet, because there is no... Uh, there's no indication of the general actually being dead. So the morale hit isn't going to happen until the un the general is actually dead. Or has run off the field. Weird engagement, the Syracuse general is dead, so both generals are effectively out of the battle now. Gorgo skirmishers winning slightly and managing to rout citizen cavalry, that is how shitty they are. Still a unit of Gorgos left here now, uh, the general has recently died for Sparta. Firing into the Thoreos Hoplites frontally, not going to do much. But there are a lot of skirmishers left now for, um, for Syracuse. I wonder how much ammunition they have left. Firing into Spaghetti Periki Spears though is a, sure way to, is a sure way to lose the vital ammunition they need to finish off Sparta because all of the all of the infantry units from Epirus are very very depleted and uh, Thoreos Hoplites not going to do well against Royal Spartans if the Royal Spartans can catch them the pikemen are dying 98 kills nicely done by them the mercenary Samnites got um, smashed here by some heroes of Sparta and in the center, Pikes once again doing weird stuff, not really helping. Uh, Threos Hoplites are losing, but these Spartan units are also very, very depleted. All of these skirmishers left. Now, I'll just fast forward because this is going to turn into a kite fest. I don't know how much ammunition is left on these units, but I'd be very surprised if it was enough. Mercenary Balearics now firing on Gorgos. Gorgos has ammunition left and they're picking up some nice kills on the Mercenary Balearics. The Mercenary Balearics are losing and actually dropping very, very quickly to Gorgos. Gorgos are a nice little unit. Skirmish Cavalry off the field. And now, since Sparta is spread out around the battlefield here, the Spartan units could manage to trap these skirmishers very, very nicely. Uh, Skirmish Cavalry charges in and just dies. Spartan units are exhausted. Light Peltas are fresh, but they're going to lose heavily to Spartan Hoplites in combat. Uh, charging in here to get the Balearics safe. 
But if this rare charge hits, that could be interesting to see what happens to Repair Kihoplites. Dropping very rapidly, starting to waver. If they lose and uh, Syracuse is able to turn around and charge here, that could be very interesting. Yep, that happens, but full strength almost Royal Spartans, not going to happen. Still some Gorgo skirmishes firing here, very nice kills on the Gorgos, some nice kills on these Balearics as well, but grinding down Spartan infantry with missiles is never easy. There is missile block and armor to go around. So chasing away the Balearics, it's clear at this point there's just nothing Syracuse can do. Still ammunition left on Gorgos, they're going to be able to fire into the backs of these mercenary Balearics. And uh, that should be it for Syracuse very soon. Yep, they're taking, th they're, they're dropping really quickly now to the Gogos fire, and they're off the field. So Master Bean and Sparta takes it against Syracuse. And I think, once again, I think the Syracusean army could have been a lot more focused. I don't see the place for Peltists against Sparta. You know you're going to have to kill Royal Spartans, you know you're going to have to kill, uh, kill Spartan Hopites. And that just makes Citizen Cavalry... A uh, bit useless. Even Hippias are a bit shady to use against Sparta. So I really think that Syracuse would have needed to go full infantry in order to do well against uh, Sparta. And I think something that could have been very nice for Syracuse against Sparta in particular would be... Let's see here. Under these rules, th uh, pick Toplite General, three mercenary Samnites, four Thorax Swords, Two mercenary veteran hopites, four uh, thorax hopites. So now you have, uh, you know, you're, you've maxed out your infantry, uh, and you don't have a lot of funds left for supporting units. Now you have a very solid infantry line. The question is whether to just bring some cheap ass light skirmish cavalry and chase Sparta down with all of the melee units. Or if you're going to take out the picked hoplites, if you take out the picked hoplites, then you can bring um, Thorax Hoplite General. Now you have some funds left for Mercenary Italian Cavalry. And Mercenary Italian Cavalry is heavy. It's able to do very well against the Shittison Cavalry that Sparta can bring. So you can either bring three Mercenary Italian Cavalry, or you can bring some, some Skirmish to contend with Gorgos. Uh, in my opinion... Just rushing Sparta is the better option, because um, it just is. <laughs> uh, getting getting these units, uh, getting the Thorax Hoplites in with their elite spears, using Phalanx, uh, and because now you have the mercenary veterans, you have all of these units to go up against the Royals and the Spartan Hoplites, and the rest of the units should pose no problem, as long as you're able to get decent engagements with even thorax swords can do a, a reasonable job against against sparta even though they are terrible terrible units uh bringing in some some skirmish could be nice but i would maybe maybe bring one mercenary balearic for, for gen sniping and a cheap archer something like this uh because you have to kill a lot of infantry and the problem with the uh, slingers they run out of ammunition so one slinger, nice archers, late game, nice. But I wouldn't bring too much cavalry against Sparta because you are going to come up against full-on spear spam. Strength and honor.